Y'all know I watch a whole lot of television and I recommended this show with trepidation because I cannot stand the lead actor in it. <laughs> but I watch it not for him, but for the a supporting cast who are amazing and joining me right now. I don't know how she plays his girlfriend and how she has a relationship with this man. But let me welcome, she is the star of Dave on Hulu, the one and only Taylor Miziak. Welcome. Thank you so, so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Yes, you play Allie, Dave's girlfriend, in the first season. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't be more happy, and I'm, spoiler alert, when you dumped him. When you <laughs> finally, because I was like, girl, girl, what do we, when the Fifi thing fell out the closet with the fake thing, I, that would have been it for me. But you, you, you have been trying to, so let's take it all the way back. You, you have a pre-existing relationship with Little Dicky. You were in one of the most expensive music videos ever. And mm -hmm. is that how you first met him or did you know him before that? No, I was familiar with his music before that. When I had first moved to LA, uh, his video, Let Me Freak, came out. And that was shot in the same style of pillow talking with an actor sort of lip syncing to the rapping. And I thought it was so clever and cool. So I was familiar with him. And then when a casting director reached out to me and said, I don't know if you know the rapper Lil Dicky, but I'm casting his music video, Pillow Talking. Would you like to come in? I was like, yeah, I remember that performance of the girl in Lemmy Freak was so great. I would love to throw my hat in the ring. So I was cast in that video. On set for that video, Dave told me he wanted to pitch a show that was about his life, to pitch a show about Dave, uh, called Dave. And that was gosh, four or five years ago at this point. So it was nice because when I got to go in and audition for the role of Allie in the pilot, I at least had like a working relationship with him where I was familiar with him because he was in every audition. He read with every girl who read for Allie. And so I think, and he's a, he's an odd duck. And so I think probably a lot of actresses went in and were like, whoa, what is, what's going on with this guy? And I was like, I know Dave, I got this. It's fine. So <laughs> That is what we see on Hulu, because I, I mean, he did a really amazing video uh, about money or something. I, I oh, save that money. Yeah, yeah. So I vaguely remember it. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of a hip hop head, but I, I truthfully, I struggle with cultural appropriation. So I'm like always side eyeing uh, the dudes that are, you know, not from the culture, but are getting wildly famous and rich. So I've struggled. Mm -hmm. But that was a good video. <laughs> and then somehow, somehow I got sucked into watching this because I'm on Hulu. And after Handmaid's Tale went off, I was like, and then I was lost. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, and talk about a big tonal <laughs> vibe shift. <laughs> yeah, right. the season, but it's on Hulu. So then, you know, that popped up. And I was like, okay, uh, what the hell? And mm -hmm. then, uh, then I got sucked in. You know, Gator sucked me in first because, you know, that vibe is just everything. Yeah, he's spectacular. He's a singular sensation. Like to, to work with him, he is also a genuine hype man in real life. Like he is so good at pumping all of us up. He, once I got the role, he knew it was such a dream come true for me. And he was like, this is going to be so huge. I'm so happy you've been dreaming for this your whole life and you're going to kill it. You're going to be amazing, Taylor. You're going to knock this out of the park. Uh, two weeks ago, there was a really wonderful episode of season two that featured a lot of my co-star Christine Co. And he FaceTimed her at like eight in the morning the next day to congratulate her and tell her like how well she did. So it's just so okay, fun. So, He's like, all right, such a so, that said, then I'm I'm so far batting a thousand. <laughs> Dave, so that's really him. Taylor, T Taylor's that Dave. Dave. Is that really? Yeah, I, I will say that the, so there is a lot that is heightened and a lot that is, you know, dramatized. And Dave himself will say that he is, um, a worse person, a worse version of himself in the show in order to have it be the best sort of vehicle for what they want to talk about. And what I will say is it's interesting. I love that you're bringing up how resistant you are to him because that's so much of what I love about my character is we've constructed behind the scenes that especially in season one, Allie tells the audience that it's okay to like him sometimes. Like yeah. Ali serves as if Ali can tolerate this, if Ali has patience, right. if Ali sees that he's special and loves him and right. is seeing the good, we can feel okay with that. We could be okay watching this show, even when there's moments that you're like, oh my God, I just hate this guy. And that's just, that's just part of how the whole thing works, which I think is kind of unique because it makes those moments where he's, he's, he's human being. 
Well, he's, he's a, a human being person. and he's very flawed. And I like that we're not like, look how perfect and cool this character is. Um, and you talk like about the cultural appropriation. Like I love when he gets called out at the end of season one and it, it gets kind of face dry and he doesn't have the most perfect answers. It's not the, it's not a stage for him to be preachy and for him to be so aspirational, but at least we're addressing it. And it's something that is a part of the show still. Yeah. Season two, I think is little Yachty um, designer in him. Mm -hmm. They're doing like a PSA or something. And it's just, <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah, that definitely shows the difference about like how they got into the rap game and Dave being like, I'm just from a suburb and I had a really wonderful upbringing and I just think that I'm great. And it's so, yeah, to, to highlight that and to make it part of the comedy and to also be at least self-aware, like that's like part of the, the whole the part of the whole game plan that a lot of our brilliant writers want to want and to actually, work. I was going to say the show is brilliant, actually. Um, as much as I hate Dave, I can't stop watching. You know, it's uh, it's a phenomenon. I'm not rooting for him <laughs> to win. Mm -hmm. I'm rooting for everyone around him to win. I want Ali to be happy. You know, mm -hmm. I want Ada, you know, and, and, and bringing in the mental health part was so smart and and just delicately handled. And it made it okay. I love that. And it's surprising, right? Because like, yeah, you're saying it's, if you're resistant to the show, if you're people who heard that Lil Dicky was getting a show, were like, well, then it will just be a big dick joke. That's the show. And uh, it's wonderful when I hear that it's surprised people. Like I love the episode Hype Man that, that deals with Gata's mental health. And he talks about being bipolar and talks about the pressures that he faces because of it is like such a surprising gut punch, right? From a show that you think is gonna be like very crude and like sort of one dimensional. And it's coming from just a really genuine like human place. That's like my favorite thing about, and like it, his performance is so brilliant in it. So oh. and, you're just, and you're sucked in and you care so much about him. It's crazy. I really do. All right, mm -hmm. so, so what's gonna happen with you? Uh, and is it weird that your father's name is Dave? Yes. Like <laughs> Like, how'd you know that? Uh, it's funny. My dad, when we were talking about titles for the show, um, Dave Bird always really liked Dave, but then there was like some pushback because it doesn't have the best. There's a word for this that I'm forgetting, but like kind of searchability. If you type in Dave into Google, this is show is not necessarily the first thing that's going to come up because it's such right. a common name and word and whatever. Um, but I, I remember it got down to that and maybe a couple other options. And I was talking to my parents and of course my father was like, well, Dave is a great name for a show. Gotta love it. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is strange that that is my dad's name. 